Welcome to Miss Cats Entertainment's first Christmas episode. I'm JJ and I'm gonna make some stuff for you. I fucking love Christmas. Cause it's really like the most fucked up holiday. You like hang balls on trees. Shit's like jingling all the time. You have that mistletoe, which is essentially like a rape bush. Anybody who like stands under that fucking like bush, you gotta like make out with them or you get cursed with like your children have to drink like Bud Light for like 500 years after. So this Christmas, I decided to do something a little different. Christians, listen, no offense. But you guys have this whole goddamn holiday. It's named after you guys. And you guys don't even fucking sing happy birthday to Jesus. And look, I'm gonna be honest with you. You guys talk a lot of shit about Satan. And honestly, I think this Christmas, we should just let bygones be bygones and uh, forgive Satan because like, honestly, you like, you know, everybody makes mistakes. He was an angel once and you don't hear me saying, oh fuck, you know, like, Jerry fucked up at work last week and now he has horns and he's ruling the underworld. You know, like who, who gives a shit? The point is, let, let's let bygones be bygones, you know, while you guys are out fucking Cyber monday or whatever the fuck, Satan's down there punishing all the fucking sinners, doing God's work, so just fucking chill out on Satan, okay? That being said, this recipe is dedicated to the Jewish community. This year, we are celebrating Jewish culture, so we're making Chinese food. <laughs> All right, so here we go. First thing we're gonna do is we got ourselves some shrimps. Okay, I got about like half a pound of these like big ass shrimps here. What you do is you wanna cut off their like shit holes, their, their shit pipes. They have a front shit pipe and a back shit pipe and you wanna make sure you cut both their shit pipes out or else when you cook and you eat it, you're gonna be eating their shit. And that's fucked up. Once you've cleaned them up, the next thing you wanna do is uh, salt them a little bit. So I got some uh, Himalayan sea salt here from the Himalayas. Get some black pepper, right? And then the next thing you wanna do is uh, get a little bit of ginger. And uh, how much of this you put on? Well, that's up to you, like I don't give a shit. And then we're gonna put some uh, red pepper flakes. Oh fuck, I almost dropped that shit. Red pepper flakes on that shit, boom, just a lot. Like the, the homies over there on the couch, they like the shit spicy. You guys like spicy shit, don't Hell you? Hell yeah! Are we allowed to talk now? No, shut the fuck shut up. up. Remain silent for the rest of my goddamn show. I'm sorry, stop. guys. And then we need some garlic because everybody likes garlic. I got this garlic here from the supermarket. Now this garlic is, is like brown as shit, which means it's, it's like an ancient garlic is what we call it in the industry. What's really cool about this garlic being so ancient is that it's absorbed like a lot of the, the memories of uh, Gaia in the earth. So like you chop it up like this, just, just you know, you don't have to be fucking be perfect. Just fucking, just chop that shit as like, it's really just tiny, like tiny fucking little pieces, you know? And you have to be like a professional chef. A lot of people say, oh, JJ, you're such an amazing fucking chef. You're so fucking hot and shit. Like, how the fuck, where'd you learn how to do all these things? And I'll tell them, I, I learned it from YouTube. Like, I didn't go to school for this shit. I mean, you look at this and you think, oh, this motherfucker must have gone to some sort of culinary academy. But no, I just, I just watched like YouTube and I just kind of paid attention while I was doing other stuff in the background and, and that's it. So here's your garlic. You dump that in the shrimp. Boom, just like that. Okay, try not to cut your finger off. You get a spoon and just kind of like stir it all together and you, you get everything all like fucking nice and yummy. Look at that. Look how yummy that is. As you can see like every shrimp has like a random amount of ingredients because you're not placing them on each shrimp. You're just kind of like dumping it all together. So each shrimp is going to taste completely different. If it doesn't matter. One time you're going to get a shitty shrimp. Another time you'll get a better shrimp. But it, it just fucking just, I mean, who gives a fuck? If you get hung up on the fact that you're not going to get the fucking best shrimp every time you bite into a shrimp, then your life is fucked. Don't fucking stress. Don't stress on that stuff. So the other thing we want to do is on the side, we want to make a sauce. So anytime you make a sauce, like a very important sauce for your family, the first thing you want to do is fucking put ketchup. Oh, oh fuck, look at, oh shit, I got ketchup all over the fucking place. William, look at this. I got ketchup on my chives, if you know what I mean. Put a little squirt in there, boom. Like, there, I like it when it makes that farty sound. Some sriracha, cause the homies, they said they like it hot. Sriracha, that shit, ooh. That sounds fucking nice. And then to that, we're gonna add a little bit of this. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this stuff. It's called the uh, red curry paste. And er anytime you make like Chinese food or any sort of like Chinesey foreign foods, red curry paste is the way to go. Here's a little pro tip. You get a little little spoon here, and, and then like the way to get it off, smack that shit down real quick, and now your spoon is kind of clean. And here's another fucking pro tip. When you're wearing a Christmas hat, 
you kind of like push it down like this and it looks like you have fucking elf ears. You know, there's no like uh, prosthetics or any, anything. This is like real shit. Just like push down on the fucking Christmas hat and then you got the fucking elf ears coming out. There, that's not CGI or anything. That's like, that's how it really is. So to that, we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. So we get a little bit of brown sugar. Splack that in there a little bit. Spl splack is a term that all the kids are using these days. The other thing we want to do to this is uh, I made a little bit of uh, chicken broth here out of like chicken guts and chicken bones. You go to your grocery store and you tell the grocer, hey, you know, like, uh, w what did you do with all the chicken dicks? And he'll go, oh, I threw them all away. And then you say, oh, no, no, don't throw away all those chicken dicks. Take them out of the garbage and give them to me. And then what you do is you boil them for like a long time and you make like a nice like brown stew. And you just pour like a little bit of that in there like that. That's enough. How much is that? Oh, like I said, who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. This stuff here, it's called uh, Korean red pepper flakes. Uh, I only know that because I wrote that down uh, several years ago when I when I put this thing in. 2015. In 2015, which is three years ago, I actually put this in here. Believe it or not. So we're gonna put a little bit of this in here and a little bit of this on our scrimps right here. Very importantly, we're gonna need an egg white. Okay. And no offense to, to the egg to the egg blacks out there. I gotta be white. It doesn't matter. Uh, we just need the whites. That's what Trump said. <laughs> you see what I'm dealing with here? Everything's political in 2018. All right. Look at this. This is how you get the, the whites out. Okay. By removing the yellows. So then, <laughs> come on guys. I'm offended by that one. So, right so you take your, 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 your goop over here, you put it on the scrimps. Okay. And then you take this over here and you, you dump it and you just say, fuck you. Just leave that on the side. Doesn't matter anymore. Now my hands are full of like ketchup and like, Salmonella right now, but I'm just gonna keep rolling because I don't give a fuck and they're gonna eat this regardless Just don't say it too loud. Cornstarch is very important. A lot of people say hey JJ What's cornstarch? And it's obviously it's like the starch from the corn So then you get like a little bit like about a forkful on the scrimps and a forkful on our sauce oh, A little bit more. Boom. There you go Don't don't a fork and a half, a fork and a half and then whatever go fork yourself doesn't matter <laughs> We're gonna whisk this all together make it like nice and yummy Ooh, look at that. You see that? Make sure all those ingredients are like getting like really, really good. And then uh, the shrimps. See that? Look, look at this. Look, see how like, look, look at this, how fucking slimy that shit is. Look at that, look at that. Let's look, look, look at that. Look at, are you, are you getting this, William? I uh, is. Look at that, holy shit. It's, it's so disgusting. I don't want to eat this. That's classic Chinese food for you. So just, just keep going with that. Jacques Cousteau once said that uh, the lobsters are the cockroach of the seas and that the uh, shrimp are like the grasshoppers. So we got a skillet here and we're gonna pump up this heat. So let's say, uh, let's say medium. You know what? Fuck this shit. It's, it's, it's fucking Christmas. It's crazy. All our Jewish homies are like really hungry. They're like, ah, fuck this, let's put medium high. We get a little bit of oil, whatever oil you wanna use, doesn't matter. Just spray that shit on there and make sure that your skillet is nicely coated. So then you put your shrimps in there and uh, you just cook them till they get a little pink and just kind of spread them out, spread your shrimp out. You don't want the shrimp to be all touching on top of each other. They had their time to fuck and this is not the time right now. Now's the time to cook. What's Greg doing? Uh, you, want a towel? you want a Christmas towel wet with the salmonella? Yeah, can I? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. We've been doing this show for four months. Greg did something useful. Hey, Thank you very much, Greg. Hey, yeah. Better late than never. It's my time to shine. We're just gonna keep cooking these shrimp just for like a minute or two. Just until they get pink. Don't cook them too much because um, Shrimp, when they overcook, they turn into like just rubbery fucking garbage. And these shrimps right here, they were like $13 a pound. And, and for me, that's like a fucking fortune. I don't make a lot of money these days because we only have 100, 140 subscribers. So if you guys could please like subscribe and like ring the bell and do all the shit that you need to do so I don't have to keep doing my day job anymore and I can cook shrimps for you guys full time. You see how they're starting to get pink a little bit? You see that look? They're a little, still a little translucent. You want a little bit more pinkness in them. Like here, this guy's ass is a little pink. That's good. You want the rest of it to be like that pink. Look at this. That's about right. When it gets to that point, we're gonna add this yummy sauce that we made. Okay, so just dump that yummy sauce in that shit. And you're gonna stir these shrimps in that yummy shit right there. 
We're gonna get them all nice and red. Look at that. <laughs> oh fuck, I put a lot of spicy shit into this. So that's got like another minute left. During that minute, I'm gonna go uh, chop up some veggies over here. So we got our cilantro. Just chop that shit right there. Okay, and then we got some, um, some green beans. I have some ketchup on this, so I'm gonna just chop that part up. Yes, onions, thank you. Fucking Gordon Ramsay of the fucking asshole world. So that's it. I'm gonna turn this fucking oven off. I just wanna say no animals were hurt during the, sh the filming of this. Thank you very much. Multiple animals were hurt, except shrimp. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> murdered those shrimp. We got a plate here, we're gonna put our shrimps down. And you could serve this shit over like rice or like noodles or whatever the fuck, pizza, whatever the fuck you like to eat in your culture. We're gonna put a little bit of fucking cilantro on that shit right there. That's it guys, we're gonna go to town. This is our, um, oh my God, look at this fucking thumb. I got a green thumb. Wow! This is it, guys. Let's give this a try. Let's see if uh, this is worth it. Oh, I got to blow on it. Mm. Oh, fuck. Fucking perfect fucking shrimp. Spicy. The Jewish community is going to love this shit. They probably don't cook at home for the holidays, but we get this shit. I know they go to Chinese restaurants and eat that shit there. But if they want to stay home and cook some fucking shrimp, I fucked up. I'm not Jewish, but I'm Christian, and I just want to live my life. Is this kosher? Be kind to one another. Thank you, Christians. Thank you, Satanists. Thank you, the Jewish community. Scientologists. I know you guys are watching this and controlling the whole goddamn thing anyway, so thank you very much. Love each other. You guys want some of this shit? Welcome, Miss Cast Miscreants. It's time for the cocktail. And this year, we're gonna make... Where the fuck's the liquor, William? <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, guys. This recipe is called uh, Santa's Panties. Did I make up this recipe? No, I found this shit on Pinterest, so... Fuck you. <laughs> so, what you do is uh, you get a little bit of grenadine and you put it in a glass. And these are fucking Santa's pants right here. See? Right there. And then we're gonna do Santa's belt. A lot of grown men wear belts these days to keep their pants up. So what I do is I keep the Kahlua in the freezer and this makes the uh, consistency, the viscosity a lot heavier so it's gonna be easier for you to layer these drinks. So here, here William, get this like really close right here, you see? Boom, right there, look at that. Look at that, bam, bam, bam. That's his fucking belt right there. So the red are his pants and the black is his belt. So now we need to do his panties. Now Santa's panties, if, uh, if you know anything about like Christmas lore and stuff, you'll realize that St. Nicholas has like very like white fluffy panties. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer the drink right here like this. And those are gonna be his panties. Oh my God, look at how sexy that is. You got fucking Santa's panties right there. You got, oh, and he fucking shit himself. William, look at this. There's a little bit of doo-doo on his panties. It's <laughs> a lot of doo-doo, dude. It's a lot of doo-doo, but he's a big fat fuck. Down the hatch. Mmm. You motherfucker, you gonna drink it without us? I only made one, you asshole. You want me to fucking share this fucking shot with like yes! four of the dudes? Yes! I ain't gonna catch the heaven. I'm gonna make you guys one now, but I gotta make one for the goddamn show. Even our 140 subscribers can understand this shit. Thank you. This is gonna be an amazing Christmas. And uh, I don't know why, but uh, God, I'm hoping it will be. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Love you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for, thanks for Merry coming. Merry Christmas to all I got a light our on me. freaking people. Oh, shit. Our holiday dedicated to don't, alcoholism. Don't mess with the Jays. <laughs> Jay, uh, down the hatch. Cheers. Merry Christmas, guys. Mmm. Oh. That tasted very Christmassy. Yeah. I like it. Very it little cinnamon. Christmas. It tastes like yeah. cake. It's yeah. Good. It was a lot better than I thought it would be. <laughs> I didn't that. Thank you. There you go. <laughs>
dear Jesus. Oh, I'm fizzled. Happy birthday, fuck, to you. Yay! Oh, fuck! Merry Christmas, dudes! Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah! It's a Christmas miracle. You're coming with me. I love you. That's what William said. That's what I say right now to Santa. Jesus. 